Hey, what's going on, everybody? Who be 186 back again with another video. Uh, I haven't made a video in a bit, you know, um, but uh, I might as well do this video. Talk about, uh, you know, what what happened. I, I, I'll, I'll try to do more. I'll try to do more videos because I do have a lot of stuff I want to talk about. Um, but first of all, you know, everyone heard about the, the Batman news. Um, they're gonna add a, a multiplayer mode for the new Batman Arkham. Arkham Origins or, or whatever. Um, so, but the biggest, bigger news than that is that the Wii U version will not have it, and this, you know, kind of, um, you know, caused a bit of a fury on, among the Nintendo base. So, uh, you know, me, I, I, I look at it from three points. Uh, I want to look at it from the from the developer perspective first, because you know, obviously, this is not the first time that the Wii, a Wii U version of a game gets shafted. In a way, so you know, you and I, a lot of people are using the Sniper Elite um, game that came out for the Wii. That game sucks anyway. I don't, I don't, I don't see the, I don't see, I really don't see the appeal of that game. But, um, but regardless of that, you know, you, you know, in the past you have um, certain features from other games that are that are that are not there. You look at um, what, what was the game was it? Um, shit. Oh, you know, you look at Injustice with not being able to um, do friend invites. Um, and, you know, there, there, there's tons of other third-party games that seem to get the shaft on the Wii U. And my thing is this, right? I, I, I don't believe... I, one of the major problems that I, I feel is within the gaming industry is, 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 is cost. You know, I mean, it costs a lot of money to make these games. I, I totally understand that. I, I, I completely understand that. But when you have companies like like um like Warner Brothers, I, I don't I, I don't know the team that Rocksteady Rocksteady. When you have Rocksteady, when you have companies like EA, um, Ubisoft, you know companies like that who who who, who cry and and say oh well you know games cost so much money. Well then if that's the case, then control your budget better. And if a Wii U version, or hell, even a Vita, because the Vita's dealing with the same shit, you know what I mean? Like, I, I you know, all the Nintendo fanboys want to sit there and talk about, you know, all the people are screwing over the Wii U. What, what about the Vita? You don't care if it's not happening to the console that you like. Same shit's happening with the Vita. You know what I mean? Like, when, if, you, if, if it's not enough to make a game on the, on the platform, don't fucking make it. I mean, simple as that. I don't want to hear these assholes crying, crying, complaining about oh, oh, th these consoles are out of date, and then you're continually, you're continually making games for that platform. You know what I mean? Like, like the call, like the Call of Duty guys. I, I don't know which team did this, but they were complaining about the limitations of of hardware, of the hardware on both systems, and yet the new Ghost game. It's still coming out for the PS3 and 360. If if hardware was such a big fucking problem for you guys, just make it on make it exclusive for the PS4 and Xbox One. You know what I mean? These guys are just bitching and complaining over over stuff because that they're allowed to do that. They don't have a media that's going to to um to judge them on that. You know what I mean? Like anybody, did anyone has anybody asked the Rocksteady guys? Why are you guys not putting a multiplayer version on the Wii U? Has anyone asked them that? Has anyone within the media asked them that? Has, what about the Nintendo team over at IGN, GameSpot? You know what I mean? Any of these other media out, media outlets out there has have they asked them? No. No, because these because these because the problem with the with the industry is twofold. You have you have now I would, I don't know if I would go completely, you know, up the fault of the developer. Per se, I mean they do have they do have their place their place to blame. You have the developers, you have the publishers, which I think is a bigger problem. These greedy fucking companies like EA, you know, and like like Ubisoft and some of these other companies, these greedy ass fucking assholes who have CEOs who make billions upon billions of dollars for fucking up. You look at what happened with Don Matrick. That dude was the the poster boy for every fucking Xbox One X Bone joke there is, and what happens? He goes to another company. He he made he, one. He gets another job, 
and plus he he, he leave with like multi with a multi million million dollar settlement from Microsoft or whatever they they refer to it as. You know, what I mean these greedy ass fucks. You know they're ruin they're ruining the industry with all this bullshit with D DLC and microtransactions, all that other bullshit. And, and you know it, it, hurt, it hurts the industry, and I think that that hurts the industry. Not used games or some of these other puppets who proclaim who proclaim it just so that they can make the console of choice look good. You know what I mean? Like it, it's it's bullshit. It's complete bullshit. And you know, and the second the, my second viewpoint in all this is when it comes to Nintendo themselves. Nintendo. I, like I can understand if they if they don't wanna if they don't wanna rock the boat, but I mean fuck it, man. Look look at look at what's going on with with the with the third party games. You know what I mean? Look at look at what Nintendo's done with the first party game. They've completely fucked up this Wii U launch, and it's not like the three like people want to say, oh well, the 3DS start out got off to a rough start. Listen, I've explained this before. They're not the same fucking thing. It's different markets for it's there's a different market. You know what I mean? Like a game like Pokemon can be a huge success in the in the handheld market because you know there's nothing that can that, that that can duplicate that. There, I mean, there are games out there that are that are probably more popular, like among the casual crowd, like Angry Birds and this you know Candy Candy Crash bullshit or whatever the fuck that game is. You know they have game, but to the core gamer, to the hardcore gamer, the premier you know handheld game out there more than likely will probably be is, is Pokemon. You know what I mean? Like or you know any of the Mario games or whatever. They don't have, they don't have a game like that, on 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 a console. They don't. They don't. And and the the problem is that Nintendo do not innovate in their games at all. And and you look at you know you have and, and another thing when it comes to these third parties. They have they have they're they they're allowing these third party publishers to release half ass shit, and then having them price it for full price. Like that's something that you have you like if you're in a Nintendo you have to stand up to your consumer you have to stand up for your consumers, even if and I'll get I'll get to those fanboys in a second, but e even if they're just mindless drones you're making the console look like shit, like straight up you're making the console look terrible when you have, when you have these these um these half-ass ports, these you know dumbed down versions of games when when the superior version of games are on consoles that are like old they're fucking old man fucking old and you know they have to do a better job than that and the last thing is with the is with the um the Nintendo fanboys now now I did hear this from I know Black Bond's been saying something similar to this I know um Zaire made a video mentioning this and it is 100% true if you accept mediocrity you get mediocrity and another thing that I don't understand why is it that when Mar when Nintendo came out and said they can't make multiplayer for Mar for the new Mario game, people there were some people. Now I know not all Nintendo fans. I know some not all Nintendo fans are mindless drones, but there were some Nintendo fans out there who made this excuse of, oh well, they they might have they probably tried, but you know it was, you know you didn't want it to lag and all the other bullshit, making excuses for them. And then when Rock City dropped this bombshell, people go crazy. All the Nintendo fanboys go crazy. Why is it that you guys are willing to make excuses for mediocrity on Nintendo's end, but when Rocksteady feeds you the same shit, you guys get upset? Aren't both versions of the game single player, uh, historically single player experiences? Outside of um, outside of that, um, what's that game called? Um, Gotham City Imposters. Every Batman game that I can think of has been single player. Both both games have been single player experiences for the most part. So why is it okay for one for one game and not okay for another? Like I said before, if you accept mediocrity, you get mediocrity. That's basically that's basically how it is. And you can't sit there and make excuses for one one end of mediocrity and not make it and and go ape shit over the uh, another end of mediocrity. Shit is shit regardless. And you guys, some of you fanboys have accepted it over the years and it, it came back to bite you in the ass. That's just how it is. So, I mean, it is what it is. If you accept shit, you get shit. Anyway, this will be 186. I'm out. Um, I'll probably do. I'll try to do another video tomorrow. But anyway, this will be 186. I'm out of here. Peace.